Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. It's been announced that um, the newly signed Canelo Alvarez to PBC will fight the undisputed um, super welterweight champion of the world, um, and that is Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo. Obviously, you've got Jamel, who's the WBC um, middleweight champ. But Jamel is the undisputed super welterweight champion. And a very good fighter he is too. Um, he unified all the belts, did, did really well. Reversed one of a uh, defeat, his only defeat. Um, but this is a surprise because I think most people, when Canelo signed for the three-fight deal, thought that um, one of the fights, possibly probably the first fight, uh, would be... Um, Jamal, the WBC middleweight champ. In fact, it isn't. It's Jamal jumping up two weight divisions, a battle of two undisputed champs. Yeah, okay, I get it. That can be sold. But uh, is this too much of a jump for Charlo? Because as good as he is and as improved as he is, and I think he's actually better than his, than his, his twin brother, um, he certainly achieved more. Not to say that um, Jamal hasn't, but... Yeah, Jamel, I think, is probably the better of the two brothers. He's, he's, he seems to be the one that's... Uh, he's been out, out of the ring since May last year when he beat uh, Brian Castano to retain all those belts. But he does uh, seem to be someone who, and I, who who takes his opportunities more and is a little bit more um, eager to fight. I understand that uh, Jamel has had injuries. Um, I'm not knocking him. But I don't think you can knock Jamel's career, especially the fact that he reversed a defeat. Because although Jamel is undefeated, Jamel has got a defeat on his record. But I always think it's how you react to that. And I think he's done it very, very well. So this is a strange one. Um, you know, a super welterweight jumping up to face an established super middleweight champ. OK. Uh, the other two fights, um, one of them actually, they're talking about... <laughs> They're talking about Errol Spence. That's been mooted as well, and I think that's 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 even odder because first of all, Spence has got to get through Terence Crawford, which is a big if, and then for him to jump up three weight divisions to face Canelo. Okay, I mean this does show just how much money Canelo generates, even though he's thirty-two and looks like he might just be a little bit over the hill, slowing down a little bit. He can still generate such enormous paydays that these guys, these established fighters, a unified champ is willing to jump up two weight divisions. It's very, very unusual. I suppose it's not that unusual if you're talking big money because you want to maximise your profits, don't you? It's a short career. But yeah, I thought I'd share that bit of news with you. Leave your comments below and um, what do you think of this? What are your first impressions? I'm not going to talk about who I think is going to win yet, but leave your comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for your time as always. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll answer them. And bye for now.